Woo! What's up, my people? Yeah, I had to remove my unit so that I can get this video crack a lacking for y'all so that I can do it like I want to do it. <laughs> anyway, what's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Freaky, freaky. Hey, hey. Amazing. Yeah. Before we get started, I am gonna ask you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, become a part of the fam bam. So let me give you a fist bump, a hug, mm -mm. welcoming you in even now. Make sure you subscribe, update your notifications, customize them, let them know that you need to know when I come on and do this thing, okay? So we are gonna get started on this video. I've already done a video on my eyes. What I did was I did um, do's and don'ts of eye makeup and it's just simple, simple, simple application or it's just a simple application that will help you bring your eyeshadow game to another level. It's nothing drastic, but it's like, it's the, it's, it's the small things in life, okay? It's the small details. But what we're about to do now is I'm gonna do a video on this Morphe foundation, but check it out. I went into Ulta and I'm always, whenever I get a chance to go into Ulta or Sephora, my first thing or my first question that I ask the reps as soon as I walk in the door is what's new, <laughs> what's good. Like I told you guys, like I have businesses going on. You guys know I just launched um, my lipstick or cosmetics line and everything. And so I, it's hard to keep up with everything and what's going on. So I need y'all to help me too. So I go in there like what's good, what's popping. So I walk straight in the door this time. I didn't even have to ask that because Makeup Shayla was like, hey girl, hey. Not physically, girl, but her picture. And I was like, hey girl, we grabbing you today. So this is what I grabbed. I got this, and let me show you a couple other things that I got. I got this Juvia's Place palette. It is the Nubian 2. I know that this is not a new palette, but here's the thing. I know that I'm probably like the last planet, the last planet, <laughs> the last person on the planet to try them. I've never tried Juvia's Place. Like, so I'm gonna do a dedicated video to me trying Juvia's Place for the first time and my thoughts. Cause I, I've, I've tried their foundation um, and I, yeah, and concealer. And I love the concealer. I have a, I actually have a review video on both. So I got that. We're gonna be talking about that. The store that I went to didn't have a whole lot of palettes that I wanted to try, so I got that one. And then the other thing I grabbed was a primer. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Right, yeah. It is um, NYX Professional Makeup. Girl, you know NYX, NYX. It is the Marshmallow Primer. Now, the lady at Ulta told me, she said, I'm getting a lot of mixed reviews on that thing, so keep your receipt just in case you wanna bring it back. I was like, duly noted. But um, it actually smells like marshmallow. I did test that out. But I'm not gonna try it with this foundation because I wanted to try this foundation with a primer that is like a holy grail of mine. And this I'll be trying with a foundation that's a holy grail of mine so I can give you a fair review, right? Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Ah. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm gonna use my Lancome La Base Primer. It is a fave. I think they have a traveling one, but just get the full one, girl. It's like 42 bucks, but I promise you, it's gonna do you good. I, I really love it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna prime this face. I am already moisturized because that's what I do as soon as I get out of the shower. You just don't see that part. And you know, I don't think you need to see it to know that I do it, right? So there it is. I'm excited about this foundation because um, it, even though it is not, um, I don't think it's marketed as matte. I think it's actually marketed as um, hydrating, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna look it up. Matter of fact, I should get my phone even now and let this uh, primer soak in a little bit. Yeah, I think that's better. But I will say that it definitely does cater to undertones because I saw that it had different undertones, but it doesn't help that I cannot try on the foundation or I can't swatch it or anything like that. With COVID going on and everything, you just simply cannot. So it's like you have to look at the bottle to decide what your color is. So I'm here to help y'all a little bit. Plus the bottle is frosted. So it's really hard. So how I matched myself was I literally went in there and took a bottle and held it up to my neck because I match by my neck because my face has a little more red in it, right? Ain't no sense in matching my face and then when I do the face, it doesn't match the neck. So I literally held it up to my neck like this and whatever one looked closest to the color on my neck, frosted bottle and all, ugh. 
I just need companies not to do the frost. I know it looks really fancy, but we want to see the true color and sometimes this can kind of distort it. I do know that when I got this foundation, it came with a free brush. So I might try it to see what happens, but in real life, IRL, um, I would not use this as a foundation brush. I would probably use it as a contour brush, but hashtag winning, hashtag score for free. So I don't know exactly how many shades there are, but it was a nice range. The deepest color is 40 and the one that I have is number 28. So that goes to show you that, you know, it, it gets, they have a few shades, okay? It, they have a few more shades. My color 28, it says that, Oh, and mine's out of stock online, hmm. But it is rich with neutral golden undertones. And then the 26 that I had, it was rich with golden undertones too, but it was like a shade lighter. And I felt like I would rather go, a like it's a smidgen lighter than this one, 26 is, but I felt like if I do 28, if it is a little bit dark, I can always lighten it up with um like my concealer or something so anyway i'm gonna correct first because that's what i do in real life okay We're, we ain't gotta we ain't gotta fake it we ain't gotta lie to kick it and um i am gonna be doing i have like a little um a live video to do after i do this a training and so i just want to be at my best and my best is with correctors so we are gonna do like i do in real life this is the makeup forever um correcting concealer Alrighty. this luxe long wearing formula is designed to blur and diffuse the look of it, and diffuse the look of imperfections while deeply hydrating and nourishing skin it's crafted in italy for the ultimate soft focus filter effect look and powered by high performing skin perfecting ingredients. Dear, the silky smooth medium to full coverage is buildable and developed across 40 shades for a range of skin tones and undertones. That That's definitely true. The undertones, it has a, a great mixture. Um, plus it's made to keep up with you thanks to sweat proof, transfer proof, and waterproof performance that lasts 12 hours. It's the best filter you'll ever use. Um, I may do a little like recap or something like that after a few hours of wearing it to see you know how it's operating on me. But I gotta use a primer and a corrector, that's how we get down. Um, the key features, and I'm not about to go through all, like I'm gonna put the link so you guys can go read the rest that, they, that they're saying, but it is oil free. And oh my gosh, it's a lot. But the key features is what we're gonna focus on. Key features, cause I'm see key, just kidding. Hyaluronic acid boosts moisture levels and vitamin E delivers antioxidant protection. It's pore blurring pigments diffuse the look of imperfections. A whole lot, like that's good. Natural buildable coverage, long wearing, sweat proof and transfer proof. I don't even like that word transfer proof is like non-existent to me. We already talked about that. If you want to know more, put it comment below and I'll respond because I've said it a few times. So let me know if you know, we're going to go in and I'm going to do the brush and I have my beauty sponge and my beauty sponge is actually from Sonia Kashuk. It is damp. I'm making sure like all the way, but this is Sonia Kashuk. It is $5 and I absolutely, absolutely, that's my word, absolutely love her. Now let's talk about this bottle. It is a little bit heavy. It does feel like it's a glass bottle. Um, and I love the pump. Like, can't, like, hashtag winning. I love when they give a nice little, um, a black pump. I like that because if it's a different color, it gets so dirty. Now, I love the idea, but like you got to, you got to go to work on Myra Fee to get a little bit of that to come out. And that's not the first time. The first time I used it, I had to do that, but I had to do it again, which is interesting. So now I'm hoping that I made the right decision. And this side, I think I'm gonna use the brush and y'all gonna have to tell me, cause I'm not gonna see it until I see this video because my monitor's over here and I, I can't see what it's looking like that way really. So I'm gonna do this side with the brush first and thank the Lord that is buildable because your girl here builds, okay? I'm generous with foundation, that's how we get down. Now one thing I did wanna do is because I just got this brush, I wanna spray it with a little bit of alcohol to disinfect it because I literally just took it out of the package. And see, I don't usually like to put my foundation on with brushes. Now this one is a little darker than the other one. Okay. This brush is not shabby. It actually feels, I would never, I would never pick a brush like this to put foundation on. I would totally look at this as a contour brush. I ain't gonna even lie. And I may use it for that after this. Ooh, baby, that looks high to the dray 
15. Now hydrating foundation, I will tell you, I am not a huge fan of it, but as I get older and my skin changes a little bit, I feel like I can appreciate hydrating a little bit more because it makes my skin look healthier. Healthier and um, not like it's about to crack. Let's do this. And then we're gonna take that sponge, girl, and blend around. And it feels kinda, it feels good. No, <laughs> that is sound good. It feels good. There we go, hey, yeah. That kinda looks like my skin. Like I ain't mad, like it's not a super um, large demarcation line. It's really, really not. Okay, 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 Murphy and Shayla, okay. And then Murphy, if you need me, <laughs> they both look kind of hydrating. But I can tell you right now, and I, now I'm probably gonna go on with the beauty blender so my sides are even, okay? But I wanted you guys to see, this is like the brush side, and this is the beauty sponge side, but I kind of like the beauty sponge side. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments. But now, because I want everything to look even, I'm gonna go on with the sponge on both sides. I think I like this, and I think I picked the right one. I got the right one, baby because I told y'all I was gonna go a little bit lighter, but let me tell you guys my logic on getting a foundation that matches your skin tone. If you are faced with a dilemma of getting one that's a little bit lighter or getting one that is just a, a tinge or a smidgen darker, I think I would go for the smidgen darker because the thing about getting it a little bit darker is I can always like highlight and put my concealer on and kind of balance it out. If I go too light, like how are we supposed to fix that? Like I'm just gonna look a little bit ashy like all over my face. At least I can make it look, if it's a little bit darker, I can make it look like I bronzed or something like that or I meant to do the outer side of my face a little bit darker and I can make the inside lighter. You feel me? You follow me, follow me? So that's, that's why I chose this one. I was like, so check it. If it's not the exact one, I can make it the exact one. But it is definitely kind of giving me this hydrating vibe and I'm gonna roll with it because once I put my concealer and my powder and all that, I think all will be well. I'll start off where you guys can see me and then I'll just come back with the final look. But I am simply gonna go on top of this right here with my highlighter of choice, my concealer highlighter of choice. I am going to set this with my Sasha Buttercup powder as well as my Graftobian powder. I have a um, updated foundation routine video you can watch to see how I use those two. I am going to set it with my Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix powder. This is in 70YW and then maybe even a lippy girl and then I'll come back and show you the final look, okay? See you in a minute. I'm about to say deuces, but not deuces yet. Right now, we'll be right back. <laughs> New hair, who it is? <laughs> Ooh, this is what I need to do. I told you guys, there's still a little line of demarcation, but this is not the only foundation that it does that with, but I actually like this color. But let me do a live video. Shout out to iPhone users out there. I'm a part of, I'm a part of the crew now. I'm, I still got the Galaxy though, but I'm a part of the crew. But let me um, do a video. I'm learning how to do this. And I will insert this, but there you go. This is how she looks up. Ooh, that lighting. There you go. That's more true to color. Kinda, sorta. Y'all, why do iPhones do that? But anyway, it looks like, it looks a little lighter. I feel like my Samsung does a little bit better. Okay, right there, there we go, there we go. Right there, right there, girl, right there. That's it, don't look at my beauty blenders. But that right there, I think that's kinda like the true color, like right here. Like right there, girl, right there. And so let me come closer though so you can see the skin. I mean, even though the lighting's all up on me, it does make, that. that's not working. That looks interesting. But it's making, like my skin really looks good. It doesn't look as hydrating as it did at first, which Listen, I ain't mad at that. It doesn't make it look as hydrating because I put a little bit of powder on the powders I said I was gonna use and I actually like it. It looks pretty good. Let's just see how it holds up. So we'll see if it holds up, but I like it. It looks good, no complaints. Um, Yeah, I'm actually like, I'm, can I say that I'm actually a little surprised? Like I really am, but I like it. Like we never left. I changed my phone though. So hopefully the lighting is a little bit different, but anyway. It is, hold on, let's check this watch, girlfriend. It is, I don't even know if y'all be able to see that, but it says it is almost midnight. 
So, see, look, I can show you proof. Look, it's almost midnight. So, I have had this foundation on for over six hours, but I will say that I did blot a little bit because I had on a mask. And so you guys know, sometimes when you have a mask on, it makes you sweat a little bit. So I did a live video after I came home and I had to blot right up and through here a little bit because of the way the mask makes you sweat. But this is not bad to, you know, have it look like this after the mask. You can see my pores a little bit. I mean, I had it on for a minute and I kind of was sweating. Um, but I did not blot up here. So... Wow, babe. <laughs> but I did not blot up here. And so it, you see a little bit of oil coming through. But I'm going to tell you what. The way that this foundation looked on camera, hashtag winning, hashtag score. It gets a thumbs up from me. And to be honest, no shade to Morphe or nothing like that. But I know they have dropped uh, complexion products before. And I don't... I don't know or I don't remember hearing that they did like exceptionally well, but I will tell you this for $20. I mean, even if it was 30, I would still go for it. It is not bad at all. It looks real good on camera. So hashtag winning hashtag score Seeky approved. I am not mad. And now I'm going to let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join the fam bam by hitting that subscribe button and like customizing the notifications, adding it and all that stuff. So, you know, and you guys have an awesome blessed day. I'm not going to tell you that I will see you sooner than you think, but I will see you soon. Bye. Seeky beat confidence is key. You know what I mean? A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.